and welcome to a new tutorial. I'm Mr. 23 and today I'm going to teach you how to create a Facebook uh, cover template for your business or for your personal page. Okay, let's start. Okay, so first thing we need to create a new document and the sizes for the cover Facebook cover template are 851 by 350. And the resolution in our case should be 300. So by the end of the tutorial, you should have a nice image resolution. All right. Now, first thing we need to create a rectangle. Let's take the U tool, a rectangle tool and draw a rectangle. Now let's fill it with another color. You can do that by press fill here or double click on the layer is the same thing. And let's choose a color that we want. Let's say this one. Now, let's hide this and create a new layer, take the pen tool and we need to uh, have our ruler uh, on, on our screen. So if you don't have this ruler, let's press Ctrl and R, okay, and now drag a guide until it reaches the middle of our, our document, which in our case is 157.5. With the pen tool, just click here, then until it reaches our guide, then press again and we'll do something like an arrow. As you can see, I need to be really uh, careful. All right, best thing is to click outside the document in order to be sure that everything is selected. All right, now with this new shape created, this arrow, something like an arrow, just duplicate it, okay? And now you can change the color into the first color, which is this one. And you can move this to the, to the right by holding shift and drag it with the mouse. Okay. Let's do this again. Duplicate layer. Okay. And again, change the color into white. And drag this all the way to the right. Something like that. Now, um, let's write something. Create a text layer by pressing T. And now let's say something like that. Um, let's keep it uh, with, I always use Montserrat. Uh, you can use uh, the anything you want from here, the uh, thickest one. Let's say this one. You can always change the color. Depends on your uh, document. All right, and now I need to write, let's say name. I write name and I make it really bold. Let's say uh, black. I move it here and uh, I don't need this guide anymore. Let's hide it by uh, dragging all the way to the top or pressing Ctrl or Command H. And now I, if I want to change the opacity of the name, I drag the this slider to the left into something like that. Okay, now let's move on by adding some uh, extra things to the new layers that we created. Let's add some images into our new document. So I have a person that writes on a desk. I drag it all the way here. Now let's move this picture inside our rectangle. So we want to create a clipping mask by pressing the Alt and as you can see it's a down arrow, press on it. And now uh, our image is inside of our rectangle. So Ctrl T and shrink it until you uh, decide that it's a good image. Say something like that. All right, now we need another image. I have a conference room image. Let's drag this in our document and place it in this uh, arrow, this one that it was on top of our uh, rectangle. We do the same thing. We hold Alt and clip it. And if we, if we move it, it moves only inside that arrow. All right, let's make it smaller by con con pressing Ctrl and T. Make it smaller, move it until it satisfies your uh, need. Let's say something like that. All right, good. Now uh, let's add some uh, white outlines to our uh, arrows. First, on this shape, yeah, let's double click and choose stroke. And we have some white arrows, some white, sorry, uh, lines around our 
uh, shape our, let's say, arrow. Okay, I use the 7 pixel white, and now I press OK. If you want this to be bigger, just press Ctrl and T and Alt Shift and make it bigger if you want. And move it wherever you want. Okay, we do the same thing. Okay, let's move it a bit to the left, right? Let we do the same thing with this shape. Just double click and hit stroke. All right. If you want, don't want those lines to be seen, let's make our document our uh, arrow bigger. Just hold Control and T and bring this transform tool and make it bigger by holding Shift. Okay. Move it all around and this is it. Now, let's bring some color adjustment to our document. If you want to uh, affect everything, you can place it uh, on top of everything, this a new adjustment layer, um, okay, and then uh, blending with color. And as you can see, everything changes into that color. So you can change the color from here into any color you want, all right? So anytime you need to change, it changes everything. So if you like it like that, you can use this color. If not, always you can change it into something else, even black and white, if you want. If you choose white or if you choose black, it has the same effect. So I don't know, it's up to you what color you want for your project. Um, I always go with neutral colors, um, depending, of course, on our type of business. All right, this is the business template. Let's move on to the next example. Now, in order to do another example, let's hold shift and click on first and the last layer and then group them into a new layer. Let's create a new layer and inside this new layer, I'll make the personal template. Also, let's rename this. Now, all right, I'm going to hide this business template and I'm going to show you another technique on this personal template. First thing, let's do a new layer. Let's call this background. And now I have, uh, uh, I'm using the brush tool. So take the brush tool from here and I have this pastel brush uh, that I use, which is really nice. You can use any wet uh, brush or special brush you prefer and just draw on your screen. All right, now let's hit properties. If you, you, if you want to use two colors, the two colors from here, let's say um, this reddish, pinkish and uh, let's say uh, blue. If you want to draw in both colors, okay. It does something like that. It mixes the colors because you have color dynamics checked. If you unchecked and you want to draw only with this pink uh, color, you can always deselect color dynamics and use only that color. So you draw, actually you draw something like a shape, like a random shape. Yeah. And then you can make it as big as you want. And then I have this picture with this musician can be your picture with you. Let's drag it here and I'm going to clip it inside my background. And then you can move it or shrink it, of course. I can shrink it and place it wherever I want. I can always draw on my background layer more so the musician or your picture should be seen more. This is a way. Another way would have been by uh, using mask on the musician. So you could uh, bring the picture here. Okay, it was inside. And now shrink it the way you want. Let's say uh, 20%. Okay, and now you can add a mask to it and brush outside with black. And as you can see, it, it does the same thing. But that's another way of doing it. It's not wrong, it's just another way. You can always use both techniques. All right, 
So this is um, for the background. Let's create a, a new adjustment layer, which is a gradient. Let's uh, choose another color, uh, something that works better with our image. Let's say this one. And I'm going to drag it underneath our background layer. Yeah, this is much better. Okay, now let's write something. Uh, I'm going on top of everything and I'm writing uh, something like beautiful. And I'm going to change the font into uh, a font that is called beauty. I really love this one. And I'm going to make the size bigger. I don't know, something uh, like double. Okay, let's rotate it by Ctrl T and then you see you can rotate it. Okay, if you move this yeah, slider. And of course, let's change the color into something that matches our image. Yeah, something like that. Of course, you can use again another uh, font uh, if you want to write more. Uh, Montserrat always works. You can make it smaller and change it to black this bold one and of course you can change uh, the color with something that works with your first color we can use a color from his uh, shirt all right and of course you can make the opacity something like 50 percent and make it bigger anything that you want you can uh, use here also if you want to add a coat to the image, I don't know, some uh, very smart code, you can go on top of everything, take the brush tool, make a new layer, and then just draw with a smaller brush, just draw something here, let's say like that, and move it to the side, wherever you want, change the color, you can change the color by double click on the layer and color overlay and change the color from here, or you can press Ctrl and U for the hue and saturation layer and change the color from here, make it white, whatever you want, or press here on the adjustment layer, solid color, choose white, and then add it by clipping it into your uh, layer. All right, so if you want to change the color, just select it from here. Now, if you want to add a coat to your image, just press the text tool and write something, write something smart here all right let's make this smaller um and uh, the thickness let's say thin and make it much smaller or i don't know regular something like that or also beautiful if you want but it's up to you whatever you want to choose here Okay, so this is the personal template, you can use it, and now let's see how this looks on a Facebook page. Uh, I'm going to select the first one, the business template, and I press Ctrl, Shift, Alt and I. It does a screenshot of the image that we created, and now I drag it to my template, all the way to the top, and I clip it inside uh, my new template that I created and this is how it looks on a Facebook page. Now the other one that we created, uh, the personal template, we do the same thing, Ctrl, Alt, Shift and I to create a screenshot and I move it to our template to see how it looks. We bring it inside and just move, I move it with the arrows. So this is how it looks on a personal page. So. This was the tutorial from today, I hope you like it, if you do, please subscribe to my channel, see you next time.